because you can't see the oxygen does not mean you're not breathing it in. Think about that. Because you can't see power doesn't mean that the power that brings you to life does not exist. You cannot give up. You cannot throw in the towel. You can't get frustrated and allow Satan to bring you down with doubt and self-pity. You cannot allow the devil to do that to you. You can't allow yourself. You can't go on that roller coaster. No, 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 no. No, you stay off that ride. That's deadly for you because God has begun a good work in you. God is not a half-stepper. He is not a quitter. If you hold on to him, he holds on to you and he doesn't let go. You have to make sure you do likewise. You cannot afford to let go of the lover of your soul. You cannot afford to let go of the lifter up of your head. You cannot afford to let go of your hopes, your dreams, your desires, your aspirations. You cannot afford to let go of your faith. You cannot afford. You can't afford to. You can't afford to. You have to, when you, when there's nothing you can do, when it seems like you are seeing nothing but failure, 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 when it seems like there's no progress, there's no, there's no momentum, there's no nothing, you feel like you're hanging in limbo. That's the time to be still and know that he is God. He'll be exalted. Oh, he'll show you. He'll show you his salvation. Psalms 91, that's a promise. He will show you his salvation. That doesn't mean see salvation. No, he's going to demonstrate his salvation to you throughout every second, minute, hour, day, week, year, decade of your life. He is going to demonstrate. He will prove himself to you. He will prove his love for you. He will prove that you have been wonderfully and beautifully made in his love. He will show you that you are not a mistake, that he does know the plans he has for you. I don't care what you see in the mirror. I don't care how you feel about yourself. You cannot concentrate and dwell on that. You have to get in that Bible, put it in your lap, put your specs on, and say, Lord, if you need them. Tell me, what do you see when you look at me? How do you feel about me? Is there any hope for me? Am I going to amount to anything? Or is this it? Trust me, it's never it. He will always share encouraging scriptures with you when you need to have your head lifted. He is the lifter up of your head. He will dry and wipe away those weeping eyes when you feel hopeless, when you feel like you have no direction, no purpose. He will lift up your head. He will strengthen you on the inner man because that's what he does. That's the kind of God we serve. He did not come for the perfect, for the wonderful, for the affluent, he came for the poor, the needy, the broken, the bruised, the can't help it. He came for the wounded, the damaged. Oh, come on now. So if that's why he came and died, how dare you even think of giving up? You do not have permission to throw in the towel. 